I've been trying to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I missed Wednesday. Um, but that's fine. I didn't really have anything that interesting to say. Um, there is something that I've been thinking about, though, on a sort of regular basis. And that is that uh, there's, a, there's a passage in Jane's uh, book on probability theory. Uh, the one where he's like, frequentism is bad and Bayesianism is good, which I was sympathetic to, to some degree. Um, definitely updating your priors is a, is, a, is a good thing, good practice. But um, he was talking about, this is kind of sort of self-referential passage where he's talking about the use of Bayesian methods um, in uh, nuclear magnetic resonance imaging and how it was getting results that were two orders of magnitude better than Fourier transforms and how he co-authored a paper um, that said just that and um, the remark was that people didn't believe him and he wasn't the principal author of the paper but it, anyway it doesn't, doesn't really matter but he, if the authors himself included had made a, uh, a claim instead that said that they they did at least 50 percent better then people would have eagerly adopted this better mousetrap proverbially but instead, the paper claimed like a 200-fold or something like that increase in, in, in uh, accuracy. And people didn't believe them. And he said this to basically make a point about, um, about people's priors, about a particular situation, uh, or claim, rather. And in this case, um, that... You know, you're, you're going to believe something that's going to be incrementally better, but you're not going to believe something that's going to be exponentially better. And I sort of think about that because it's something that I've actually run into a lot, um, especially, you know, since that I've more or less been in the business of, you know, that's what software does, right? Like it takes processes and makes them orders of magnitude more, or at least hypothetically, orders of magnitude more efficient. And um, that reminds me of a thing that Alan Cooper once said about software people. And he's like, a software person is a person who understands software as a process understands it as you know doing a job that does a job and that's my formulation but um understands that um that you're you are that is precisely what you're doing is making things an order of magnitude faster two orders of magnitude like you know it's you're taking processes and you're shrinking them to a point you're making them you're taking them you know, all the way to zero, if you can. And a person who's not a software person just doesn't understand, like, cannot understand that. Can't understand that dimension that, um, that you, you know, you're doing work that does work. You're compressing a process to nothing, if you can, if you can get it all the way to nothing. And the irony is that the software industry is full of people who aren't software people. They don't understand this business. Um, and that, I think, is kind of a, just an interesting little phenomenon. But anyway, I think that's all I've got for this Friday morning. So have a good weekend. I'm going to finish my coffee.